This section will outline all the updates to Microsoft Teams as of July 2020. We will cover the new meeting experience, which will include how to set up meetings, accessing meeting options, and all that has changed within Microsoft Teams new meetings. You will see how to interact with the meetings, new meeting functionality, and how to access the attendance report. We will then look at how we can pin both chats and channels, as well as how to use pop-out chats and the new Meet Now option in channels. To set up a meeting in Microsoft Teams, we'll first access the calendar view. We'll then select New Meeting in the top right. We'll then add the meeting details, such as the title and the time we want. Then, we'll insert the attendees that we wish to invite. With the new meeting experience, when we add attendees, the colors of the users will change based on their availability in their calendar. We can see that Claudia is unavailable as her profile is marked red. We can change the time or access the scheduling assistant to view the best time to have the meeting. Once we're within the scheduling assistant, we can view other users within our organization's calendars to pick an appropriate time. You can change the meeting time along the top or by using the highlighted section. You can also add optional attendees to the meeting as well as a physical meeting location. Once you've set the time, we can select the Details tab to access the rest of the meeting details. Within the details, we can set meeting repetition, add a channel to the meeting, a physical location, and add a meeting agenda in the description before sending the request. Once you've added the details, select Send to send the meeting request to the invitees. Now that we've sent the meeting request, let's see how to access meeting options. To access meeting options, select the meeting you want to configure the settings on, from which you can select Meeting Options. Your browser will open, where we can set a few options to customize this meeting. We can choose with the first drop-down which type of user can bypass the meeting lobby. We can set it to Everyone, People within your organization and trusted organizations, People within your organization, or just you. Below, we can allow or disallow users who dial into the meeting to bypass the lobby as well. Use the toggle to announce when somebody joins or leaves the meeting and choose with the drop down which type of user can present content within the meeting. We can allow everyone, people within your organization, specific people, or just you to be able to present content. Once we're happy with our meeting settings, select save to save this specific meeting's options. To join a meeting, start within the calendar view and then select the meeting you wish to join. Then select Join. Meetings in Microsoft Teams now open and run in a separate window and no longer stay within the main Teams application. We can choose to start the meeting with our webcam on or off, our microphone muted or unmuted, and configure a custom setup. Below, you can join with the audio off, have the meeting call you, and even add a Microsoft Teams room. Once you're ready to join the meeting, select Join Now, and you'll be inserted into the meeting. The meeting experience in Teams has changed. With the new update, all of the meeting functionality is within the top right-hand corner of the meeting. Functions have changed, and new ones have been added. You can access the participant pane by selecting the first option, where you can view all of those who are already within the meeting, and invite other users and phone numbers. Select the chat icon to access the meeting chat, where we can participate in the meeting instant message function. A new feature that has been added is the raising hand feature. Yourself and others may feel uncomfortable interrupting the meeting or have been muted, but the raising hand feature will let everyone know that you wish to speak. To raise your hand in the meeting, select the hand icon. Everyone else within the meeting will see that you've raised your hand, and within the participant pane, there is a notification which lets the speaker or presenter know. You can put your hand down simply by selecting the hand icon again. When someone else raises their hand, you'll see it within the meeting, and within the participant pane, letting you know that someone else wishes to speak. The ellipsis, when we select that option, allows us to access our device settings, show meeting notes, and view the meeting details. Below, we can access different video views. The default view is the gallery view, which will show about four people with their cameras on. If there are many people in the meeting, you can select large gallery to view a large group of people in your meeting at once in small windows. 
and together mode to view you and your colleagues in a virtual meeting room as a video. If someone is presenting content, you can enable focus mode. Focus mode will hide all participant windows and make the presented content full screen, minimizing distractions in the meeting space. You can also use the call me feature to have the meeting call you at a preferred phone number. We can also turn on live captions, which when we turn on, will transcribe spoken word into readable text, increasing accessibility. Select that same option to turn it off. The ellipsis also allows us to record the meeting, access a keypad, and turn off incoming video. To the right of the ellipsis, we have the familiar controls of video options, which allows you to turn your webcam on or off, as well as include a custom background, control your microphone, and share content within the meeting. A brand new feature in Teams meetings is the ability to download an attendance report to track when users entered and left the meeting. Please note that you must download the meeting attendance report prior to the meeting ending or it will become unavailable. To download the attendance report, access the participant pane and then select the download option here. You will download a CSV file which includes all of the meeting entry and exit information. When we open that file, we can see who completed an action, what their action was, and at what time that action was taken. Remember, the attendance report is only available while the meeting is happening, so remember to download it prior to the meeting ending. To leave the meeting, select the leave option here, though Teams meetings now have an end meeting function. Select the drop down next to the leave button where we can select end meeting. If you set up this meeting, you can select end meeting to end the meeting for all users within it. Microsoft Teams chat view and channel view now lets us pin our favorite chats and channels at the top of our views. We're currently within the chat view and at the top of our chats, we can see all of the chats that we have pinned, which will remain there until we unpin them. To pin a chat, Hover over it, select the ellipsis, and then select pin. When you pin a chat, it will remain under the pin section until you select the ellipsis again and then unpin it. Teams has also added the ability for us to pop out our chat windows so that we can access different views while chatting. To pop out a chat, hover over it and select the pop out option. The chat window will appear where we can interact with the chat make voice and video calls, and even share content. You can select exit to close that chat window. We'll access the Teams view. Just like the chat view, we can pin our favorite and most frequently used channels to the top of the view for quick access. To pin a channel to the top of our view, hover over the channel, select the ellipsis, and then select pin. It will remain within the pin section for quick access to that channel. You can unpin a channel by selecting the ellipsis and then selecting unpin. From within channels, we also have a new function of meet now. You can start an on the fly meeting or schedule a meeting directly within a channel. To start an on the fly meeting within the channel, select the meet option. That will call everyone within the channel for an immediate meeting. You can also select the drop down next to the meeting option to schedule a meeting which will include the channel as its location. Teams is constantly evolving as new and better features are added and we will continually update this course to ensure that you have all the content you need to successfully use this app.